I am Yuki Mai, a professor at Ehim University in Japan. I would like to talk about regulation of bone metabolism by estrogen receptors. As you can see in this slide, female bone mass can be decreased after menopause. It is so called postmenopausal osteoporosis, which is accompanied by high turnover bone metabolism. Estrogen can exert its effects by binding with estrogen receptor, which is one of the members of nuclear receptor superfamily. Estrogen bound estrogen receptor can work as transcription factor to induce transcription of the target genes in target tissues or cells. Therefore, it can be considered that estrogen effects can be mediated by estrogen receptor. To understand the effect of estrogen in bone metabolism, it is necessary to understand the function of estrogen receptor in bone metabolism. To understand the physiological function of estrogen receptors, ER systemic knockout mice were generated and analyzed. As a result, ER alpha rather than ER beta knockout mice exhibited the phenotypes of estrogen deficiency acceptable because of systemic disturbance in biosynthesis of sex steroid hormones. Therefore, we generated osteoclast specific ER alpha knockout mice and female conditional knockout mice exhibited bone loss with high turnover, like postmenopausal osteoporosis. In this study, we revealed that estrogen can control apoptosis of osteoclasts. Also, Dr. Manuel's group reported that osteoclast specific ER alpha knockout mice using other types of free mice showed bone loss in trabecular bone and ER alpha can regulate apoptosis of osteoclast also. In addition, they reported that early osteoblast lineage cell specific ER alpha knockout mice also showed bone loss by affecting wind signaling. Other independent groups also reported that Osteoblast specific ER alpha knockout mice exhibited bone loss using osteocalcin curing mice. How about the effects of estrogen on osteocytes, which is considered to occupy more than 90% of cells in bone? Olson's group reported that male not female, osteocyte specific ER alpha knockout mice showed trabecular bone loss. In addition, we also reported that female, not male, osteocyte specific ER alpha knockout mice exhibited trabecular bone loss with reduced, osteoblast, oste, with reduced osteoblastic bone formation. Genome wide gene expression analysis revealed that. ER alpha in osteocytes can control the expression of wind antagonists to regulate osteoblastic bone formation. Taken together, estrogen via ER alpha can directly regulate bone metabolisms through all cell types in bone tissues, as shown in the right side panel in this slide. Also, estrogen can indirectly control bone metabolisms through other organs or tissues, such as brain, immune cells, microbiota, and so on, as shown in this left side panel. In conclusion, estrogen can control bone homeostasis through direct and indirect regulations. That's all. Thank you for your kind attention.